So I guess this is, uh, it looks like this is a conversation. Okay. It looks thank, like it is. Thank God. Yeah, so. Uh, I mean, we haven't had a conversation in over uh, three weeks now. Well, it's because we haven't seen any movies. Like, what was the last or, one? Or we haven't seen Dawn. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I, I miss you. Yeah. <laughs> Okay. Well, I'm leaving tomorrow. <laughs> As a matter of fact. <laughs> if you were a sitcom character, hmm. what would your catchphrase be? This is knocking futz. <laughs> For real? <laughs> what? No? <laughs> Let's see what else is on. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> if I was a TV character? Yeah. A sitcom character. A sitcom character. How about, uh, uh, <laughs> go ahead. I don't know if it would even be a line. It would just be more like, <laughs> like just reacting, reacting to other people's stupidity. Just, that's, a, that's Chandler though. Huh? That's Chandler Bing. No, Chandler makes a comment. Chandler would make a snide comment on it. Okay. It wasn't me. Boom, boom. Cue the laugh track. <laughs> <laughs> okay, mine would be, uh, you gotta do what you gotta do. But I would say the first part, and then I would turn to the camera, and then the audience would say, what you gotta uh, do. Like the live studio audience. Yeah. And then everybody laughed. That would last a season. <laughs> yeah. Like, like eight episodes. Yeah. Cancelled. <laughs> Tell the Were you on She-Hulk? <laughs> Why it was such a major success. What you, what, what, who turned out the lights? <laughs> Tell the tale of the first time you got drunk. And what was the drink? Mm. You were there. Huh? Mm -hmm. You were there. So this was my first uh, drinking experience. And, and, and I was with you. I came up to Ottawa. We went to um, the apartment buildings on Montreal Road. Um, okay, yeah. Okay. And you had some, I don't know, it wasn't your girlfriend, but girlfriends from school that lived there. And uh, we went to the liquor store, and I knew nothing about liquor because I had never drank before. So I got, um, a bo I got a bottle of tequila, I got a Mickey tequila, and I got uh, Fireball. And then uh, you got some rye, and we went. And so I was straight shooting tequila, and when that was done, I moved on to the fireball. Then I was a man, and I was having some of your whiskey straight, or your your rye straight. And then I was, I went off. I, I thought I was okay, and I went on the balcony, and your friends were like watching me like a hawk. I was out on the balcony getting some air, and then I was throwing up fluorescent. Yellow. <laughs> Off the body, right? No, no. All night. Like, we stayed there. I was throwing up fluorescent yellow all night, and one of your girlfriends was, like, babysitting me all night, like, making sure, you know, that I was okay, because I was going to die. <laughs> and so, to this day, I can't have tequila. Or fireball. Or rye. <laughs> like, I can, oh I can have rye. But those things were off the table. So you were there. Okay. How about you? Uh, mine was also tequila. Hmm. And like I didn't drink until this moment, which was my second year of university. So uh, I was living, it was a f with just a roommate, one of my friend's friends, and I guess he convinced me to take a drink and I was shooting tequila. And I called my, my other pal who knew that I didn't drink and I said, guess what? I'm drunk. <laughs> Who's that, Jim? Uh, Lori. Lori, oh, okay. And she says, yeah, right. Uh, ha, ha, ha. And I had to try to convince her. Yeah. Uh, and I don't drink tequila anymore. Yeah. No. After that, even the smell of it, eh? Just can't do it. Well, maybe maybe I could now if I tried. I doubt it. But uh, yeah. Was, it's not was that before your adventures in teaching English over in Asia? I was before that, yeah. Okay. Because I... Paul... I had some videos he sent me once of him in Asia, <laughs> and he's Mister. He, he's sitting there and the conversations going on. He looks like he's all by himself, and all just. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what the neck was doing. 
I don't, but it's just like tur turkey. <laughs> it was like that, like it was trying to disconnect and fly off, like the hiccup yeah, cream. I can see Paul doing that. Oh, yeah. It's yeah. over and over again. I, I got some laugh. different alcohol over there. <laughs> <laughs> what, uh, what about you? I have never been drunk. Been drunk in my life. What? I've had drinks and I've said, okay. I can feel myself getting ready to start slurring my words or slurring my words a little bit. Just that little bite. And I just stop. I instantly stop. Okay, well, that's good. I've all, also, when I was younger, I used to be the designated driver everywhere we went because I was the only guy with a car. So, hmm. I, I've, I've, you've never seen me drunk. We I've have, never we have a new goal. <laughs> I, I, yeah. Parents delight. Never on drugs, never on, never got drunk. Well, okay. Boring. Never let my parents know who I got pregnant. Oh, but this is the guy when he drinks, it's what, a Tom Collins? Is I, it, isn't that with umbrellas and yeah, little things sticking out? You do, Collins. though. You do, you get the girly drinks. Huh? Mm-hmm. When we were on the boat, when we were on the ship. Well, yeah, I had... You literally ordered, what's the girliest drink you've got? Yeah, and then the next restaurant was, what's the manliest drink you can get me? Yeah. Mm. And it came with two umbrellas. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. If you were on AIM, or a chat messenger thing, in the early days, what would your screen name be? It was Soundman. Oh. Yeah. Because, because the whole DJ thing. Yeah. Because I, that, it, that literally, literally is what it was. Not because of flatulence. No. Not that kind of sound. <laughs> it was Soundman. That's staying in. That's coming out. <laughs> I don't know. I didn't involve. Like I, I never got into this. Is nothing fun. <laughs> I've never, like, ever got on the chat lines. Remember, your mom tried to get me into them once, and everything. I just not interested in chat lines at all. Okay. Um, what was your laser tag? I used to be uh, Black Widow. No. No, you weren't. I was Lord Dawn mm -hmm. uh, and Kill Paul. And uh, when we played laser tag, I was the Widowmaker. Widowmaker, yes. Yes. And at the same time, mine was Q T Face. Mm -hmm. But it was cool because it was the letter Q T Face. Right. Yes. <laughs> cool. And, and I, I never remember, like, you, the expression on the guy when he's calling out, uh, first place, Widowmaker. Here's a t-shirt. Second place, cutie face. <laughs> <laughs> he didn't get a t-shirt. He didn't get a t-shirt at all. <sighs> so, so, but what was your messenger name? Going back as far as I can remember, that was the, the nickname that I used. Cutie face. Yeah. Wow. Yours is pickle something. Uh, fuzzy pickle. Fuzzy pickle. <laughs> Yep. <laughs> we're all very mature when we're younger folks. <laughs> all very mature. Um, okay. What's a conspiracy theory you kind of believe to be true? Kind of. Kind of, but not 100%? Yeah. There's lots. There's, there's lots that I'm like, I could see it. Right? Yeah, but which one, like, you're on the verge, but you're not quite there yet. I'm going to have to say the moon landing. That's mine. Yeah? Yeah. Like, there's just so many things that are like... Like, now, now that we look at everything and we say, wow, TV does nothing but lie to us. What's to say they didn't lie to us way back then? Yeah. Because that was important to them to win that whole thing. Yeah. Right? So. And, um, and it would have been a, like a big production to like, look, show, the, show the Russians. Right? Look, it's proof. They put money in and they it. and they like there are so many things they can't do with today's technology, but they did it with little switches. Mm-hmm. Hmm. Yeah. Put the lid on that marker because uh, it's gonna dry out. <laughs> Hang on, folks. We have a marker crisis going on on the table. What about you? I'm gonna go with because I'm a cruiser. I'm gonna go with the uh, Titanic. Wasn't really the Titanic. I've heard it that was one her too. sister ship. And apparently, it was actually like the one that went down, they go back and they like count the windows because there was a difference in the amount of the windows stacks. and all the kinds. Of so where's the real Titanic? 
Well, they, they sunk the sister ship to get the insurance money. So they might have just disassembled it or whatever, but... Why wouldn't was they, why massive if, if they just wanted insurance money, why wouldn't they just sink the real Titanic? Insurance money, and the ship itself was stacked with millionaires, right? So they had they had motive to get rid of... Okay, but why wouldn't the millionaires be on the real Titanic? Yeah. They, they wanted you to there's believe a, that that was the real Titanic. The whole theory behind uh, the company was in trouble, and they couldn't get the Titanic ready in time, and they ended up sending out the other ship instead. And labeling it Titanic. Labeling it, and it, that's the actual one that went down, and then they quickly switched over the other one, etc. That kind of thing. That's the real story. Hmm. And you're kind of believing it? There are a lot of... There's compelling evidence. ...pictures that kind of... Well, that looks like the Titanic... And when you start comparing the, di the different design, slight variances, you can see there's an actual difference. Hmm. Whether it was added afterwards, the pictures were taken, and we don't know, you know, ships change all the time. But remember, that was its inaugural sailing of the Titanic. So it's hard to have made changes hmm. for that. So it's just one of those things. Okay. I think we should wrap it up. Okay. That's good. And cut! We like Mar Mark Wahlberg as long as he takes off his shirt. Eight, nine. <laughs> I'm making that an intro. <laughs>